1986, there was very little of any good news coming out of that. That team really united a lot of people. The sport they, they, they did, and I don't know whether this is sort of my impression from the Premier League, because um, most of the squad turned up for the Premier League, and brought the World Cup with them. But not a lot of them realised how unifying it was at home because it was the days before internet and instant news and so and, 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 got that, you know. and, and obviously you two too young to remember 1986 yourselves. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember in drama school actually, weren't you? It was before you actually got into I was football. I was a late convert to football, I didn't get into right. until in my thirties. I had to say I wasn't interested in it remotely, so yeah, I think I was doing a West Side story or piece or something like that. Michelle for an engineer in the youth field. Jimmy Nesbitt, keep very bad company. <laughs> no, <laughs> things happen. Don't say anymore. I have a few Jimmy Nesbitt stories. Yes, we've had some of them already, to be honest. Okay, uh, the shooting for soccer teams is uh, out in cinemas nationwide. So we've got to cook good quality food under pressure. So whose food can be made in a flash, and who's making claims that just don't stack up against the clock? No matter what state these dishes come out of the kitchen, I I'm going to have to taste them. First up, Manuel has 40 minutes to make Lorraine Pascal's rich rump steak stew with port, porcini, mushrooms and dumplings. Do you think it's Well, that's nice. How the meat's going to be, I'm not quite sure. Mel has made the rain pascal stew. The problem is, it needs another hour's cooking because it takes that long for the meat to break down and become tender. At the moment, it's a workout for people with all the room teeth. Next up, Tim's taking on Gordon Ramsay's two-course Sunday lunch, blackberry crumble and poached lamb. Forget marathons, this is a 45-minute sprint, but he just about makes it. It actually tastes pretty good. What Ramsay has done with this is come up with a method for cooking the meat which is quick, and that's what makes it possible to get two dishes on the table in 40 minutes. It's entirely realistic. Next up, dinner lady James taking on Nigel Slater's 30 minute chicken biryani. I'm just a bit concerned that it's not going to cook. Leaving it to stand for 10 minutes, so that puts the dish down to 20 minutes already. For a 30 minute biryani, that really isn't bad.